Right, it's the um, Benz WLC. Just stripped the tinwork off because he wants to get it painted. Found a few issues with it. Um, nothing major at all. Brake was adjusted up too tight. The frame possibly got a twist in it. Which you can see by the back legs, which I shall explain to him. It looks like the back wheel might be that way a little bit. Possibly. Um, primary chain was too tight. Clutch centre nut wasn't done up. So that I undid with my fingers. That was in there. Behind that for some reason, which it shouldn't be there. Um, so I don't quite know why they've done that. But it's all doable. So that's not a problem. Um, obviously it needs a good jet wash. Casing should be aluminium. Now's the time if you're going to do it paint bits that should be black if you know what I mean yeah. um, so I'll have a word with him for the time being you can just scuff this up and paint it black it will look fine this should be gloss black gloss black gloss black bars gloss black headlamp these should be black which is easy to do on a WLC because your hubs just unbolt so you can paint your back plates and paint those so it, I'll have a word with him and if he's just left with taking the wheels out, getting the rims painted black as they should be yeah. and re-spoke, then that's an easy job, you know, because we're only talking, I mean, you get the engine and gearbox out of one of these in half an hour. So it's not like a massive labour charge, exhaust pipes should be black, but it's just, it, it'll be a shame not to do it because it's very, very close to being a very nice bike. Yeah. Can't do anything about the springs without ordering them. They should be parkerized. Just little bits and pieces, but if you've done your main bulk of the parts that should be black, black. Um, I mean, I'm not talking about, I'll just do it with a rattle can and it will look fine. It will look, make it just look a thousand times better. Yeah. While the engine's out, paint the barrels black. Get the heads blasted if you want to. Um, silly little things like that. It'll just make it look a thousand times better I need to talk to him you know donuts on everything they shouldn't be donuts um, it's whether he wants to change them um, for the sake of 10p a nut you know it, by the time you're gonna get all your tins done and then they're gonna look lovely and then you'll put it on this you know which is for the sake of stripping that out which I say will probably take an hour to get it all apart spending an hour scotch bright in it and then just rattle can it black it will look a thousand times better yeah you know but it's his money obviously so i'll have to talk to him give it a good rub down hardly rear stand look yeah. needs welding badly um yeah so while it's at this stage i will put the rear mud guard back on because that doesn't fit properly um i think they will possibly possibly military originally and they've added these you see those areas there look there 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 see they don't it's a straight line mm -hmm. it should be welded on the inside okay so I think what they've done is just brazed them here something is wrong there because it's all been bashed around that shouldn't be there so when you paint that, it doesn't matter what you do with it, it'll look crap. Yeah. So what we'll do is just run around the inside, tack weld them here, yeah? Just put your tack welds around. And then you can grind those out and just make them look better. Just had, um, I don't quite know what these were. Bits of an original mudguard maybe, I don't know. It's got a 46 up rear lamp on it called a tombstone. What they should be is the same as the ones on that. Before it gets painted, I need to know if he wants to swap it to that rear lamp because it affects all the holes that are in this. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I've taken all the chrome off of it, which he said he wanted doing, but he might change his mind and went back. So I've taken some pictures of it, get them sent to him today, and he can make his mind up what he wants to do. Fantastic.
but like I say, this doesn't fit, so I was just going to pop this back on and have a, have a quick look at it, see what we've got to do. Right, let's get a bolt at the other side quickly. Yeah, now's the sort of time to do all this. That's not the way to go. <laughs> so the bottom of the mudguard actually needs reshaping, which is why it's all doing that. Clearly, that hit in there, we'll have to chop a bit off of that. That's been cut like, dented like that. Yeah, so that, that looks original. We'll have a look on another one. But this has all been cut around. clear that. Now I would imagine that that should be dented there. The mudguard doesn't come down as far obviously because it hasn't got the valances on it but you can see that, that flat piece there is miles away. Yeah so it's, it's about an inch past the top of the chain guard we can tidy all that chain guard up because it has got the cut out on the back as it should be. Yeah, so that needs to be up a bit higher. So what you want to do, that's been cut basically and scalloped in a straight line. What we want to do is come up there roughly about that. and make our scallop into there, yeah? Okay. And all I'll do is cut that section out, <clears throat> make a curved piece on the top, yeah? Yeah. So it just draws it away from all that, because that, whatever you do with that, that is gonna rattle, bang, crunch. So that'll let that come this way slightly, so when you put your battery box in, it'll all line up better. Gotta find out whether he wants these filled, because it had those chrome side rails on it. Which I think are probably quite genuine aftermarket pieces. So they went there with all your pegs on, yeah? Yeah. It's a bit of bling, but um, he said he didn't like all the chrome on it. So like I said, I've got to have a chat with him and work out exactly where we're going to go. Um, rear lamp's wrong, as I said. So it'd be quite nice to find out if he wants the original beehive put back on it which sits I think on those two bolt holes um, taking the chrome tip off so it's just a matter of trying to tidy all of this up I mean I'm not going to worry about doing the main work on it I'll get the painter to do that but see that rivets down so just you just put something on there and punch the rivet back out I mean, it physically doesn't fit very well like those two holes shouldn't be there, those two holes shouldn't be there, those two holes shouldn't be there, they shouldn't be there. Don't think, and I don't think they should either, but I'll have to check it all out. Get this fit in properly, because the hinge is where, so you knock the pin out, make another pin. Make sure that shuts down nicely, see that gap's tapered. Yeah. You just want, it's only like two minutes with a grinder, just grind that so it's not butting out. Yeah. So it just makes it look so much better, you know? Like you've got a big gap there, a small gap there, which is where the hinge is knackered. And you can see the way that's sitting, it's miles out of line with a back wheel. Do it all up to get that back over here somewhere, you know. So they, they just get twisted, the mud guards. But the, a lot of that is that hitting that, won't let that, this end, go that way. You look, look. Get my finger down there. Yeah. And there's nothing there. No, so true. all got to go that way and then that will let the back come around this way it's just um, it's a bit like lining doors up on a car you just got to play around with it but the frame having that twist in it will make it a harder 
harder thing to do, but. Got the inner box coming for this and the lid. So you're reasonably in line with that one there. It's not a lot in that mud guard, it's just enough to take it over that way, you know? That's about right, because if you leave those down there, they hit the frame, you can't get them past. Yeah. So you know it's roughly in the middle. So that originally would have been there. It's only probably got to come over, maybe just over a quarter of an inch, maybe. See, that's hitting there, and you can't get your, well, you can get your bolt in there, but that's been elongated. But just make that so you've got some nice clearance there, you know? Mm. It's all silly little things like that. Doesn't take five minutes to do it. Um, but while it's at this stage, now is the time to do it. 100%. Because if you send all that off and get it painted, it's just gonna, yeah. you're just gonna scratch the shit out of it, putting it back together, so. And again, front mud guard. I won't do it at the moment, but don't quite know what's going on there. So that'll have to be removed. These fork dents, clear the forks there. One's going that way and one's going that way, so you want to try and straighten those out better. Again, get rid of these, because it's just going to look horrible with them in there. Get all your main dents out of it. That's in the wrong place. So it's just a matter of finding all your bits and pieces what don't line up, you know. Yeah, there's the original light mounting hole, you can feel it there. So that'll be that one, and that one there, they've widened to get the wire through. It's probably the original mounting hole. That... It's completely wrong. I don't quite know what they've done there. And where they've put the wire through there is completely wrong, it should be a little small hole there somewhere. Tanks can't do a lot with, they're just as they are. Need the dents taken out of them and painting, but generally in reasonable condition. Yeah, so I've got to take the clutch basket off. All the play in that, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's got to be done. You can not you can get the clearest pin out, but it's a real ball ache for the sake of just pulling that off because it was all loose anyway. I'm doing those two screws, that comes off, you can get to it all. But mechanically? How do you mean? The bike runs all right, mechanically. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Runs as good as gold. Yeah, slims in and out of gear nice. Um, there's all silly little things that have got to be done, like that choke washer's bent. Just stupid little bits, you know. Got the wrong air filter on it, but it's not stopping it working, if you yeah. know what I mean. You're never going to change all the nuts and bolts for all the parkerized ones that they should be and stuff like that, you know. it's. Um, but if you get the basic frame and tins, and all the moving parts the right colours, then he can, you know, if he wants yeah. to research it and do it at a later date, he can do it, you know. Yeah. 